Well, here we are at the RSPCA centre that serves Birmingham, and there's just been what is a very typical case that's been brought in. These four very young kittens were found abandoned a short time ago, and now they've been brought in by one of the inspectors, Susie here. Hello. Susie, what, what's the story? Um, well, these little guys were found this morning dumped in a park. Um, there's four newborn kittens here. You can see their umbilical cords are still attached. Their eyes are still closed, just a few days old. They were dumped in this sack here, and luckily a member of public um, heard them crying and picked them up and called us. They're very, very young, aren't they? I mean, they no are. doubt, if they were left in that sack, they would have died. Absolutely. They didn't have a chance at all. It was a, a callous act, but as I said, luckily someone found them. We're talking about cruelty today and the number of prosecutions the RSPC is are bringing. Uh, and no doubt this is, this is an act of cruelty, isn't it? Of course, yeah. They didn't have any chance at all. Um, there's many people that would have been willing to help out if they'd have only picked up the phone rather than dumping them in the park to die. What will happen to them now? Um, they're going to be hand-reared now. Obviously, it's not ideal. They do need their mum, but um, they'll be given every chance, and then when they're old enough, they'll be rehomed. Thanks very much, Susie. Well, the, also here is RSPCA Chief Inspector uh, Tim Scott. Now, Tim... These numbers that we've got today do show a rise in convictions. Should we be worried? It doesn't look like good news. It's worrying in some ways, but th there is a positive aspect to it that at least we're finding out about things like this, um, that people are actually contacting us and we're able to do something about it rather than these kittens go unnoticed and die on their own. Doesn't necessarily mean that we're getting more cruel as a nation. I think, I think that there is a problem that people are dumping animals. They seem to, some people seem to think it's acceptable, which it certainly is not. But I think people are much more likely to, to actually contact us these days. They know that we can help. OK, Tim, thanks very much indeed. Just before we finish, let's have another look at these lovely little kittens. Uh, and with a reminder that so many cats and dogs in this RSPCA centre and other centres around the country desperately need to find new good homes.